ERA is an uncontroversial principle of constitutional democracy. Read any other constitution in the world that was written uh, after World War I or World War II. 20th century, 21st century constitutions, kind of like freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and other basic human rights. You don't really see constitutions without a gender equality clause uh, in them or equality for women and men. Uh, it's just not done anymore. Uh, and so what it tells us is that we have a very old and obsolete constitution that's out of step with how we think of the basic fundamentals of constitutional democracy uh, worldwide. Uh, and so now this is very deeply troubling. Something that's that basic, that had so much effort 100 years put in, cannot be added, was not added to the US constitution. Um, it does suggest that something has gone terribly wrong. and. The story that's often told, watch Kate Blanchett and Mrs. America. The story that's told is something's wrong with women. They just can't get along. Uh, they can't agree. Uh, there's nothing wrong with women. Women are smart and they disagree. They have different views. Uh, what's terribly wrong is with the constitution and its process uh, and perhaps its age. Uh, the constitution might just be too old to govern uh, a modern multiracial and non-patriarchal society. Uh, and it is time uh, to uh, do what's necessary uh, to make the Constitution amenable to uh, the multiracial and non-patriarchal democracy that we aspire to be. Uh, and so uh, one problem the advantage of amending state constitutions is that they are, most importantly, uh, almost every state constitution involves the people in making a constitutional amendment. So in some states, you only have legislative amendments, but they have to be ratified by the people in a referendum. So voters actually vote yes or no. Uh, and and so, um, so it is important at the state level that it's actually very small d democratic uh, in that there is that the people get to weigh in on that amendment. The people uh, get to speak uh, if their electeds in the legislature or in Congress are not really doing what they want. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but I do uh, just want to point out that um, one important feature of constitutions in many of our peer democracies throughout the world is a commitment to gender parity in, deci in decision-making positions, both in the economic sphere and the political sphere. Gender parity means that if everybody in a decision-making power, in, in a decision-making position is a man, uh, that's a problem. Um, it also means if everybody's a woman, uh, that's also a problem because it's parity. Uh, and so uh, what they, they've done in the constitutions, and again, it's a commitment, meaning um, you can't interpret equality to ban affirmative action or gender balance. And we, that's sort of where some of the European countries were when they adopted these amendments that clarified uh, that if you adopt policies that are designed uh, to achieve equal access to power, uh, that is constitutionally not just allowed, but encouraged and possibly required.